What's up? We're all in here. This time on 3D Nerd Stop, we're going to test one fan versus two fans. All right, guys, here's the model we're going to print out this week. We are going to print out the Benchy test. Um, the reason we're going to print this out is we're going to test to see if two cooling fans is better than one. Uh, the way we'll do this is we'll print it out a couple different times. Uh, we'll print it out once with one fan. Then we'll print out a second time with two fans. We'll print out a third time, let's say 50% fan power with two fans. And then maybe we'll print it out a fourth time, depending on how the first three come out, and see if we can't get it to look as good as possible. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, so of course, here's the model. And we would download this as normal. Now you will find a link to this model in the description down below. Once we've downloaded it, we would switch over to Cura. And here it is in Cura. Now, as you can see, we'll print this out on our normal settings. Uh, we'll go over our normal settings again real quick. Uh, normal settings I do is a 0.2 layer height, 1.2 shell thickness, 1.2 top and bottom thickness. We do this with a 20% fill density, a print speed of 60, a print temperature of 210, and a bed temperature of 50. We're not going to do any support material on this because we want to see how well we can get it to print out. Okay. Um, another thing we have over here is we have in our vents, we have our, we have our cooling. As we can see, this will cool the entire time from the time it starts printing. Um, it'll also have the fan speed at 100% no matter what. Okay. So we would save that off to the SD card and print that. Now... Basically, when I print the second one, it's going to be with the exact same settings. Except for when I printed the first one, I'm going to unplug the new fan. So it'll be with the original cooling fan only. And then I will plug back in for the second print, the second cooling fan. So both cooling fans will be running at the same time. Other than that, I'm not going to change any settings for that printing. Okay. When we do print out a third one, what I'm going to do is come under here and go to the f uh, cooling fan. And we're going to change this to 50%. So we're still going to use two cooling fans, but we're going to reduce them to half power. Okay, so we would save that and save that off to the SD card. Okay, and for fourth printing, now of course I just finished the third print. So I decided to record all this as I'm getting ready to do my last print, which is the fourth one. And I think we'll actually get the best print results with it. If we go back to 100%. Okay. We're going to actually turn the cooling fans off for the first layer and have them turn on for the second one. Because I did notice with the two cooling fans on that I adhesion wasn't as good with two cooling fans cooling all the time to start with so we'll do this so it'll it'll adhere to the bed better the other thing we're going to do is we're going to come back here we're going to reduce the speed a little bit and i'm going to reduce the temperature here a little bit and i'm actually going to up the bed temperature a little bit okay so for our fourth time through it and I'm going to show all four of these printings at once. Uh, for our fourth one, we are going to do a layer thickness of 0.2, a shell thickness of 1.2, top and bottom of 1.2, a fill density of 20%. We're going to do a print speed of 50, a print temperature of 200, and a bed temperature of 60. We are doing this with both fans on at 100%, but we're not going to start cooling until the second layer. Okay? So let's get all this saved off the SD card, take it over to the printer, get the printer heated up, and get her printing.
back, guys. Uh, here's print number one. Now, this is one cooling fan at 100%. So we take a real quick look at this. Uh, as we can see, starting with the doorway, there's a little bit at the top of the door. Um, the top isn't, con isn't it's not too bad looking. The bow's a little rough there. Uh, as you can see, the bow has some overheating issues. Um, we look here on the front window, there's a little bit of a sag, which isn't too terribly bad. Uh, we look at the other door, or we're looking back at the door frame here, and a look at the stack on the top here. As you can see, it's not very nice looking either. Uh, here's the back window. As you can see, it's got a little funky place in there, and the smoke stack on top is a little goofy looking. Here's a better shot of the smoke stack on top. You can see that it's not real pretty. It's a little melted not real nice all right so this is the second one this is two cooling fans at a hundred percent okay so just by taking a real quick look at it uh, the side here looks a whole lot better and so does the bow now the bow's not perfect but it looks pretty good there I mean it's a whole lot nicer than it was with one uh, as you can see it does look a whole lot better you can also see in the doorways there is still a little bit of goofiness at the top, but for the most part, they do look better. Uh, so does the smokestack on top, if you look at it. It's nice and straight. Uh, the front window here has a little bit of a sag. It looks like there's a little bit of a string inside. I'm not sure what that's from, but it doesn't look too bad. The back window has eh, a little mess up at the top, but it doesn't look too bad. And the smokestack looks pretty good. As you can see, the roof on this one looks pretty good. Like I say, the smokestack looks pretty good. So as you can see, with two cooling fans at 100% at my normal speed settings, it does a pretty good job. So on a lot of the prints we've done in the past where we've used one cooling fan and they come out looking just great, this would look fantastic. So the two cooling fans does improve. All right. So this one here is two cooling fans at 50%. Okay, as you can see, it's not terrible. It looks better than one cooling fan. Not quite as good as the two cooling fans at 100%. Um, you can see the front end isn't quite as smooth, but it's not terrible. I mean, it doesn't look terribly bad. So as you can see, that's not too terribly bad. I mean, it's not the best it's not a hundred percent but it doesn't look real bad uh, as you can see here in the door frame it looks pretty good the smokestack looks pretty good the roof line the top of the deck uh, the portholes in the front here's the back window it's a little messed up at the top but then again that's happened on every print so far and again the smokestack looks pretty good on top uh, here's the front window as you can see there's a little bit of a sag but that's not really that bad it looks pretty good all in all all right guys so here is our fourth print and i have to say i don't i've never seen my printer print this nice this is to me gorgeous um, as you can see the bow here is nice and smooth there's no warping from overheating on it it looks fantastic i mean it really is a nice print um, you can see the side window here does have a little bit of mess up at the top of it um, and I don't know that you will ever get rid of that hundred percent it is possible maybe slightly different speed might have done better maybe 55 instead of 50 could have done it um, the stack looks really nice on it um, here's the front window uh, ooh, sorry that photo is a little fuzzy uh, as you can see it sags just a little bit but not bad at all it looks great. The stack looks good from here. Now here's the back window. As you can see, the stack looks pretty good. Um, the back window just has a little mess up at the top. Nothing big. That's the way it usually comes out. So as you can see, all in all, this one came out fantastic. Especially when you look at the front. I mean, the bow of this is almost perfect. So I'd have to say that's a really good setting if you're trying to print. Now... I want everybody to remember one thing about 3D printers. What works on my 3D printer may not work on yours. 
Every 3D printer is different. Everybody's environment is different. The room temperatures are different. The humidity levels are different. All of that makes a difference when you're doing a 3D print. So you have to remember that when you go to do your 3D prints. These settings work wonderful for me right now. They may not work this great this summer. I may have to tweak them a little bit. Um, you might find where you live that these settings don't work well at all for you. So that's one of the things you have to find out with your printer, what is the best settings. But as you can see with just a little bit of playing, I found a setting that comes out really nice for this time of year. And it'll probably work most of the year for me because I'm pretty consistent with my house temperature. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, have a great day.